Hey guys, so this is just a quick video, um, just to show, well, it's actually a, a first attempt on how to fix my broken foundation. Um, I've just seen a video from, um, I believe it's Lil Pumpkin Pie 05, um, and she just did her two blushes, so that motivated me to try and fix my foundation, because I always saw some of our eyeshadows. Um, so I'm just going to try and fix it. I mean, if it turns out to be a fail, um, I mean, it's okay. I could just buy another one, you know, but I wasn't using this one anymore. So I'm going to use the back end of some tweezers, and I'm just going to mash up the bigger pieces into smaller pieces, like that. And um, I have a little paper towel just so I won't have to do any cleanup. And um, another paper towel to wrap up your masher. I mean, so I guess that's about good. Oh, wait, I see a big piece. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about good. Okay. I keep saying that and then I just keep going back and mashing more. Okay. So scrape off the sides. And what I'm using to mash it is just simple um um so oh gosh, it's a body butter. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use that oily but um, I'm using 70% alcohol and my tripod is somewhere so I'm actually balancing it on top of a, a cup box so I'm using 70% alcohol and I'm just going and move this closer uh, I think I'm going to put about two to three bottle caps because I think the whole thing is supposed to be submerged and since this is kind of big you know it needs to get all around so that's one and pulling that over okay maybe I'll, I will only need two capsules oops yeah okay so I didn't even use all of two so I mean, oh my gosh, I have a cut on my finger. It's burning. <laughs> okay, so it looks like that. Uh, I'm just going to let that sit a little bit. I feel like I should have put um, less, but I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now. So I'm actually going to double this, fold it in half, and then wrap it in. Only because I feel like it's going to break. So it's like that, and I'm just going to mash it down. So let's hope this works. All right, it's coming out. Oh my gosh! And this has like a pull-up top, so I kind of have to hold the top down. Okay, I'm I'm actually scared to like push down on it too much. Okay, um, <laughs> do you guys see this? So, I mean, it's all stuck together, but now I feel like it's really, really creamy. I mean, I know it's going to dry up, but I just want to get a shape down. You, as you can see, that just lifted up. So, I'm just squeezing that down, and then I have to go and scrape off the edges, scrape the edges down. Yucky. This looks <laughs> totally unappealing. So that's what's actually left on the, what you call it. Um, I'm just going to try to scrape it off. I'm sorry if I'm blocking it. So that, you know, scrape some more. And that's what's left. So I think I'm just going to let that dry. And I'll take my little thing out and... I mean, it has a little bit on it, you know, just have to wipe it off, and it's 
brand new. Or if you want, wash the cap. But, I mean, that's basically it. You know. Um, I think I might actually smooth it down a little bit. Let me put it back. Okay. So, I think I might try to actually smooth it down with my finger. And my hands were clean before this. So, you know, just to create kind of a smoothness to it. So that's about it. And I have that on my finger. Once again, it looks unappetizing. Um, so, yeah. That's how it looks. Um, so I'm going to let this dry. I wish you could see. And this is actually my, um, Nika K foundation in, um, dark chocolate. So, you know, I'm just, and my little powder thing fell out. I never use this, but, you know, I always kept it down there, but I'm going to throw it out. It looks filthy. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks, so I'm going to come back, um, in about half an hour to an hour, and I'm going to show you guys the finished look, so, I'll see you guys later, bye. Okay, I'm back. So, <laughs> uh, this is how it looks now. Um, I know I said I was going to check it, make a video at 10 o'clock, but it didn't happen, so I'm doing it now. It's the next day, um... I think it's about 12:45. I think I don't know. I'm just I'm just running around. I'm not even aware of time. But I know it's um it's before one after 12:30, so a 30 minute time frame. So this is how it looks now, and the middle part that you see, that's kind of matte. That's where I was swatching it, and actually it looks shiny around the edges, but it's actually white off camera. I don't know if you can see the white um, on camera. So I swatched it, and this is how it looks on my finger. I don't know why I didn't swatch it on the other finger, but that's how it looks. And if I rub it on, um, it's right here. But of course, I don't put on foundation like that, so. If I put it on the brush, you know, oops, okay, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but it's really like, um, brittle, I don't know if you can see that coming off, but that's how it is on a brush, and to just wipe it on, so that's how that looks, um, yeah, a lot of it just fell onto the floor, but see now, that's how it looks now. And that's how it looks on my hand. Right around here. Um, it's still, I still smell a little bit of alcohol on it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it's because I didn't press down hard enough on it because I was already squeezing out so much of the product around the edges. But, I mean, it's fine, you know. I really don't use it anymore, but I will use it, uh, blah, 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 blah. I will use it occasionally. And even if I don't use it on my face, and since, it's, um, since this is a matte brown, I can use it as a crease color. So, I mean, it's still going to get its uses. So that's that. And let me show you how much of it fell out. As you can see on the floor, that's all of the fallout from this. Um, I don't really like that, but, I mean, hey, what can I do? So, that's basically it. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll, um, write back. So, I guess that's it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.